Morning. Back in the honey house this morning. I am retired, but I know it's August 20th, 2024 today. And it's early in the morning. It's about seven o'clock. And I'm just finishing up uh, with some uh, uh, wax processing. I want to show you a little bit about the wax processing tanks and how I do it. I've had some people ask questions about the uh, wax processing, so I wanted to go through that today. So show you a little bit of that this morning. It's uh, This is just how it is in the honey house. It's uh, I mop this floor about four times a day, it feels like. And, uh, uh, but this is it's just the way the way it is. So we're finishing up the, uh, the crop. We still got a little bit, you can see there in the bucket uh, that we've got to run through a, a nylon cloth. Still finishing up with our uh, uh, processing and we'll get all this, all these tanks and everything cleaned up and all the honey uh, into buckets or bottled and uh, then we'll go from there. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit about some uh, wax processing today. Just got a small um, tank for uh, putting the frames a uh, holding tank. Uh, that's one of the purchases for next year is to get a bigger um, cappings tank uh, to put the uh, wax cappings in. But I've cleaned most of this out. You can see some. It still needs to be cleaned up. But I take the uh, beeswax caps, which is a really good high quality wax. Uh, I uncap into this tank as well. It's kind of a makeshift uh, tank until we can put them in the extractor. Uh, but if I got two people in here to uh, uncap, then we uncap and then and on both sides of the extractor and then put it in there. But the first step uh, the caps go into is this Kelly's uh, wax processing tank. From this line down, it's a coned bottom in there and it has a, uh, a water in it and it has a heating element with a thermostat that you can see over here. Um, but it heats up the cappings and it melts it. It gets a lot of that, uh, black, uh, stuff, all the bad stuff out, but it's the first step in cleaning up the wax. So you end up with wax like this, uh, that's fairly clean, but not per definitely not perfectly clean. Um, but it's sitting on top of some dark honey that'll just be fed back to the bees, uh, residual honey that was left in here. I probably had... I don't know, I probably had maybe three gallons of honey. I, you know, I let the cappings drain and drain as much honey as I can off of them. And I process that honey, but this honey I, gets fed back to the bees. And I've probably wasted, I say wasted, it goes back to the bees, but I've, there's probably about three or four gallons of honey that I could have got and didn't because of my process. I'm looking at maybe a wax press or some way to get some more honey out. But if you transfer that over into a monetary value, honey is $100 a gallon. Um, I've lost uh, three to $400 uh, by, the, by the honey that was left over in the wax. So that's something else we're gonna try to work out and be able to recoup uh, those losses. But that's the first step in the process. It goes into this uh, tank and gets melted down for the first time and gets a majority of the uh, of the goop out of it, but not all of it. Step number two, it goes, I've just got a Coleman stove with a propane tank and I, I fill a pot with about two inches of water. Um, and then I put those cappings uh, down into it and I bring it all to a boil, the wax and the water and everything to a boil. And what happens is, is that uh, wax will come to the top and the dirt and honey and whatever else is in there goes to the bottom. And you can take a dipper and dip the clean wax right off the top of the dirt. And that clean wax goes into, I've got three um, coffee pots and two of them are clean and one of them is dirty. So it goes from this tank, gets melted down, gets dipped with the dipper um, into a dirty pot. I go through a screen. Um, I've got some nylon cloth that I'd bought and didn't use for processing honey, so I use it for the wax, but it goes through that really quick. Um, 
but it goes first into a dirty pot and this will be really clean wax with just a few specks of dirt in it, which is still not good enough for processing. But then it goes from this pot, once I get this dirty pot, uh, about half full. I try not to get them too much over, they're a little bit over half full now. I uh, try not to get them too much over half full as it pours better. Um, but it goes from a dirty pot, gets screened again and goes into a clean pot. So I've got two clean pots. This is really clean uh, wax that is ready to go. And once it goes into my clean pots, uh, it's ready to be poured into molds. So I've got two, I can make 10 one ounce beeswax bars at a time. And I keep them in front of a fan, which uh, drastically increases, decreases, I guess, the drying time. It, I can pop them out pretty quick with this fan running across them. But I wait until it separates from the sides. When I see it start to separate, it's hardened up enough, hardened up enough to separate. Then I go ahead and uh, dump it out of those molds, and it goes over here. Is where I store my beeswax blocks. So this is, I think I made, I did this Saturday morning, all morning, and I made 85 um, beeswax blocks, and that's the way I sell it. These are, well, that one ain't too clean. Any of them I see like that, it's got those specks in it like that, that gets reprocessed. Thought these were all clean. That one's pretty clean. Um, but it, it's still not a thousand percent perfect. There still might be some specks in it, but this is pretty much what I expect to get out of my beeswax blocks. But they're one ounce blocks, and... Uh, that's the way I sell my wax. Um, I'm here. I could sell it in larger quantities and I could get rid of it all pretty quick. Um, but I don't mind. I, sh I do ship it and uh, I don't mind somebody buying five or ten bars at a time. So that's the way we sell it. But that's pretty much my wax uh, processing. I keep uh, um, honey pretty much bottled uh, all the time and ready to go. Somebody comes in, wants a jar, I have it. I try to keep about this much on hand. Um, and it, it sells pretty quick. Uh, but that's just a little early morning uh, walk through the honey house and uh, wax processing that we've been doing. I, I process the wax uh, anytime I start getting a little low. I had uh, probably four or five people call between Friday and Saturday and pretty much had wiped me out. I got down to about 20 blocks. Um, but now I think I've got over a hundred, so I'm good for a while. So, but this is uh, where we're at. This is what we're doing. The honey's, like I say, almost done. Honey house still has to be cleaned up. All the tanks have to be clean. Um, everything's got to be finished up and uh, and processed. And we'll get that here in the next day or two. I work in here until I get burnt out on it, and then I, I go to. This is my honey house on this side, and then through that door is my wood shop. So I do woodworking over there. Uh, so I'll work on woodworking for a while and get burnt out on that, and then I'll come in here and work on this. So I kind of go back and forth, but that's a little early morning rundown of the uh, wax process and where we're at as far as the season goes with the 2024 crop. So appreciate you watching, and hope to see you on the next video.